Hi guys, it's Richard at Plum Dog here. Just done a job uh, to replace some anodes in a hot water system. Now, just wanted to do the video because it's not just as easy as replacing the anodes, which many do out there. So there's um, some guys that just go around and purely just change anodes every two, three years, and, and that's really all they do. Um, it's really important that not only do you replace the anode, but you also flush out the tank. So these anodes, they're made of magnesium, okay? And the anodes, they sacrifice themselves to the impurities in water, meaning that the impurities in water attack it and not the tank. Um, so replacing these uh, periodically um, really extends the life of the tank. Now, when the anodes break down, the magnesium breaks down and it basically just sits as a powder at the bottom of the tank. And if that powder is not flushed out and removed, and it's actually attacking the tank at the bottom. Um, and yes, yeah, so it needs to come out. Let me show you on this hot water system. I'm gonna pull the anodes out and just show you what they look like. And then we're gonna perform a tank flush. And you can really see how much uh, magnesium residue is in the water. Um, and you can see for yourself that it, yeah, it needs to be removed. Watch this. I've already loosened these anodes off. So this you know, Ream Stella. There's two anodes. Look at that. Okay, so there's next to nothing left on there. And to give you an idea, this is what a new one looks like. So can you see what used to be a solid rod inside the hot water system is now totally broken down to just nothing. So that's just a metal rod and all the magnesium has, has gone away off it. We're going to perform a tank flush, um, and you can yeah you can get an idea of of how much residue comes out. Steps. Look at it all. There's even some big clumps of anode there that are just set on the bottom of the tank. Look. So it just looks like a big pile of sand that's that's been put there. Hey, but there, that's that's all come out of this hot water system. So in this particular one, it's seven years old. Uh, being a Ream Stella, there's two anodes. So all that powder is totally. It's come from you know, totally broke down anodes over time. And yeah, just replacing the anodes in this just wouldn't do the job. Um, all of that needs to come out. And as you can see, um, I was running the water over my hand um, and you can see eventually it came clear. So once the, obviously the water comes clear, all the residue's out um, and, and yeah, ready for the new anodes to be put in. All that, all that sediment, that, that sticks in filters throughout the house. The main one is the tempering valve that's got filters on it. So if that if that dirty water's getting coming through, um, yeah, filters on on valves and things, it's just going to block up. So so many times people tell us, you know, I've got no hot water. Well, yeah, there's so many reasons why, but this is a really yeah really major and popular one. So, okay, guys, well uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.